everyone, this is Melanie. If you're new to my channel, thank you for being here. I do book reviews, book chats, I talk about dyslexia, I talk about my art, and I encourage you guys as much as I possibly can. You guys have <laughs> been so amazing for supporting this channel over the years. I'm coming up to my six years being on booktube with a sabbatical and I am thinking about celebrating it. Please let me know how you'd like me to celebrate it. I'm thinking about doing a giveaway or something. I don't know. Anyways, let me know what you think. I would be happy to get your suggestions. <laughs> I'm also considering doing a bit of a Q&A. If you have any questions for me, you can also leave those in the comments below. Let's dive into our video today, which we're gonna be talking about my TBR list for the month of April. I cannot believe it's the spring already. Like, where did the time go? <laughs> it's incredibly insane how fast this time is going. I'm a little bit of a, a different scenario today. I'm sitting on the floor. I just want to relax because I'm going to be working a lot today. I'm in my painting clothes, but I wanted to get this video to you guys, so I had to do it today, and yeah. Now, just a quick little thing. I do my best to read all the books on my TBR, but I find that it's a little bit more tougher for me just because I am struggling a little bit with reading and I'm getting a lot better and it's been awesome but I don't want to overwhelm myself with too much on my TBR list. What I'd like to read and what I end up reading because I like to complete my tasks and so if I have too much it gets very overwhelming. So I've limited my books a bit. This one here I'm gonna try to eliminate some of the ones I do really want to read. On this TBR list will not be yet the Christian booktube group that we're a part of where we read a book a month. That will we'll find out later what we're gonna do for the month of April, so I won't include that now, but you'll see the book probably later on. I've been trying to attempt to read this, but I've had some Agatha Christie books that I've wanted to read, so I opted for reading those first. This is Laura Child's Steeped in Evil, and it includes recipes. It's actually really cute. I really, really started to enjoy this book. I had a hard time not wanting to pick this up because I enjoyed the writing style. I enjoyed the whole concept so far and her witty banter as an author to the reader is is actually quite hilarious. I am going to continue reading this book after I'm done the other Agatha Christie book that I'm reading. Then I've been wanting to read this book. It is The Peasant's Dream. I am having a really hard time wanting to read this book because I, I don't want it to end. I'm having some serious like emotional issues over this one. I just really don't want it to end. I really enjoy the series so much. I'm hoping that, we, <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna try to read it in April. I think it'd be a perfect time to read this book. Now I have a game that I'm going to play. I've seen other people do it. I think it's a great idea to eliminate some books. I have four books here. Out of these books, I'm going to read the first sentence. I will eventually read all of these books. Don't get yourself, I'm gonna read these books. So let's find out which ones make the cut. Let's first sentence read. Let's see how it goes. Oh, like seriously, Rebel? does amazing with getting floppy books. If I ever get to be published, I want to be with them just because their floppy books are amazing. Okay, so this one's Deadly Devotion, A Sandra Orchid, Port Aster Secrets. This book was in my haul. Kate Adams slammed the Port Aster Weekly onto Detective Parker's desk and jabbed at the headline blazed in one inch letters, Herbal Researcher's Death Ruled Suicide. Not bad. There's a lot of action happening. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. Dear Mr. Knightley, a novel by Kathleen Ray. This one has been a tough one for me. I wanted to read it a lot, but because of the style in which it's written, because they're letters, I've been deterring it just because I am kind of feel intimidated by that style. The font though is just so pretty. Look at this. Dear sir, it has been a year since I turned down your generous offer. I'm gonna say no to this one. There's not much to it. A generous offer could be like anything. She turned it down though, so that gives like angst a little bit, but. This one I got when I did the little library tour during the winter. I went and checked this book out from there and put some books in. Love Walked In, a novel by Marissa De La Santos. I don't know anything about this book. I don't want to read the backs. It's well loved though. Chapter one. Ooh, this book's really floppy too. My life, my real life, started when a man walked into it, a handsome stranger in a perfectly cut suit, and yes, I know how that sounds. 
makes me curious, makes me, it makes me want to read it. I'm going to put it in the maybe pile. Wings of the Wind and Out from Egypt, number three. So I just had a phone call. There's always interruptions in my house. I was talking about Wings of the Wind, Out of Egypt by Con Connelly Cossett. I want to read this book at some point this year because I don't know if you know, but I just found out and I had no idea because I, I don't follow a lot of media or Instagram or any of these things. She is actually battling cancer. So I would really encourage you guys to pray for her right now. That would be so nice. She's got to go through another surgery. Um, and yeah, it's been a tough road for her. So she's had great support with her family and things like that, but it's definitely not a fun time for her. So I just really would like you guys to pray for her if you can, that would be wonderful. Now and for the first sentence, I love her writing, it's so beautiful. Forging through the teeming mass of Canaanite soldiers in this vast army camp, I'd never felt more alone. Oh, that is actually really good. Okay, I gotta reread these to see. I'm thinking I'm gonna pick this one actually. Kate Adams slammed the Port Aster Weekly onto Detective Parker's desk and jabbed at the headline Blaze in One Inch Letters. Herbal researcher's death ruled suicide. It makes me intrigued. I love mysteries. I love suspense novels. So it does make me definitely want to read this book. But I've read a lot of mysteries over the last month of March. So maybe I, I, I don't know. I don't know if this is making this easier for me or harder. This was supposed to make it easier. <laughs> my life, my real life started when a man walked into it, a handsome stranger in a perfectly cut suit. And yes, I know how that sounds, but I don't really know how that sounds. I'm not as hooked with this one. Okay, it's down to these two. Let's read this one one more time. Forging through the teeming mass of Canaanite soldiers in this vast, vast army camp, I'd never felt more alone. Oh, seriously, this tugs on my heartstrings like right away. I think we have a winner. This book by the beautiful Colin, Conalyn Cossette will be the book that I read along with these three. And then of course I have audiobooks. Again, let me know if you guys want me to include, them. they'll be included in the wrap up. When I have time, I throw on the audiobooks. And so I don't wanna include them because it's not something I set as a goal for myself. It's whatever I can do and I have no pressure on myself. That's it. These are my three books as well as the other book that we're going to be doing as the booktube group, which I'm hoping I can get into an audiobook because I'll be able to read that faster. But to be honest with you, I actually enjoy physical copy books a lot more. I do really enjoy that. However, just because of my disability with dyslexia, it's a lot easier sometimes to do audiobooks. That is it. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this content. It really makes a difference and it lets me know to make more like this if you like it. As well as hit the notification bell. We're a very small group of people on here on the internet that does Christian book reviews and Christian book content. If you would love to support that, hit the notification bell and say all so that you get them as they come out all the time. And if you want to watch my previous video for my March TBR, I'll have that after the video here. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate that. And I appreciate all your great and wonderful comments in the comments below. Have a great one and happy reading guys. Bye. to her husband. Okay, those are acknowledgements. Chapter one, read the first sentence. Yay, yay. Okay, Egypt it's series part three. I have read the other two, I believe. Oh, maybe I haven't read one of them.